So today <laughs> I wanted to share with everybody uh, just something that keeps coming up in all of the streams that we're doing uh, online, all of our online programming. Something that I think everybody should understand. Uh, and it's this idea that medicine can be used for so many different reasons. One of the main reasons why I love understanding medicine so much is because it can be used uh, very, very effectively to help uh, give us the ability to utilize Western medication. And so what I mean by that is like, uh, it always comes up in pain management, pain management, where we're talking about arthritis or something like this, we're talking about Tylenol use, uh, acetaminophen and ibuprofen, Tylenol and Advil. Uh, Tylenol is the world's leading number one cause of acute lung, uh, acute liver injury. Uh, and and so uh, every time we use a Tylenol, uh, these are some of the risks that we have, the damages that are incurred. Uh, it feels great to have some, uh, you know, the analgesic, the pain relief, uh, but there's a cost to that. There are side effects and medicine, plant medicine, Shlavamshkika can be utilized to help mitigate the damages that can be incurred while we're using medication. Uh, and so my favorite example with Tylenol is like when we have kids, uh, we have young kids who, uh, you know, we want to give them Tylenol because we know this issue with the liver. We know the issues with the allergies uh, or the associations with allergies anyways. And we don't want to put our kids, subject our kids to these issues so early on. And so, you know, our kids will be rocking like a 41 degree fever uh, and we'll be waiting for them to seize. <laughs> Uh, before we give them a Tylenol to drop that down a degree or to be able to allow them to be comfortable and have a good night's sleep. And sometimes not using something like Tylenol or Advil uh, in, in our kids can be doing a little, a, like a little bit, a lot of bit more harm than good. Uh, and so it's just all the more powerful to understand, you know, some of the medicines that can be used to help um, to help uh, give us the ability to comfortably use some Western medication uh, without worrying about the side effects or the damages, the peripheral damages that happen. So like Gold Thread is really amazing. The Sawajib Kans, what I just showed you there, the Sawajib Kans is awesome because it should be a part of every kid's life anyways. Uh, kids are way more prone to getting canker sores and mouth ulcers uh, because of the things they're putting in their mouth uh, because uh, we don't understand their sensitivities or their allergies yet. And so uh, it's something that's put in uh, uh, kids' mouths all the time from when they're babies to put it in that little mesh bag, that little lollipop with the mesh bag you put frozen fruit in for teething babies. Uh, well, we put medicine in there and just constantly um, uh, use it, utilizing that medicine, uh, uh, the, the saliva from, the, uh, from your mouth will, will hydrate the root and make like this tea. And when you're constantly wiping this tea in your mouth, it's keeping it really clean. It's like a berberine wash. <laughs> this root is full of a lot of berberine, the active component. And uh, there's some really amazing benefit to that uh, for, as far as oral hygiene goes. It's just something our kids should be having anyways. Uh, and if our kids are engaging in that knowledge and that and uh, uh, throughout their childhood, uh, we also know that Sawajib Kans, Gold Thread, Coptis Trifolia is a really amazing uh, liver medicine uh, to help rebound from the insults from acetaminophen or Advil. Uh, um, this should just be something that our kids are doing naturally, uh, uh, constantly engaging with the medicine that's preventing or minimizing damages from Tylenol and Advil. So that's a really good, uh, a really good one to sort of understand starting when, with when we're kids. Uh, but um, sort of moving on, we have uh, corticosteroid use is one of my favorite ones. Uh, so like uh, prednisone and corticosteroid uh, sparing agents like methyltrexate is, uh, is another really, really common one. And they're used for uh, his, uh, some really extreme situations and and uh, generally for diseases that are really, really hard to manage or are at the point where now it's really hard to manage. Uh, even for plant medicine is going to be a really hard sort of intervention. And so uh, using medicine to give us the ability to utilize those drugs, uh, one of the biggest issues with these drugs is uh, calcium leaching from the uh, periosteum 
tissue. So from uh, development of osteoporosis, basically weakening of the bones is something that happens really, really often and common with corticosteroids and sparing uh, agents like methotrexate. So uh, um, we could utilize medicine like Zebenosh, scouring rush or Ecosidum hymali to, to be able to give our bones everything they need to become strong. And my favorite situations are with kids uh, who are on some of these drugs that are uh, um, really at risk for so many different developmental disorders because they're developing as the leaching is happening. And so it's really devastating uh, for some situations. And so the scouring rush can be used to help uh, ensure proper development. And, uh, and then with aging, uh, an aging population who gets put on these drugs, uh, they can uh, safely take the drug without worrying about developing osteoporosis. So medicine gives you the ability to utilize medicine and it's an idea I really love and I really think that everybody should understand. Uh, another one of my favorite ones, and the super common, it comes up in our mental health and addictions program when we're covering uh, pain management in fibromyalgia. So in, with fibromyalgia, we have uh generally it goes undiagnosed for so many years you know and you're just managing the pain on your own you're taking uh over-the-counter NSAIDs uh, like uh um ibuprofen and uh aleve or naproxen and so you just people who have fibromyalgia is such an incredible amount of pain uh you just eat these like candies and they're really really hard on your kidneys um, and so you usually have years of abuse, years of abusing naproxen before you finally get your diagnosis of fibromyalgia. Once you have the diagnosis, then you're prescribed uh, anxiolytics like uh, trazodone or ven venlafaxine is the, another really common one. Those are two of the most common anxiolytics used in to manage fibromyalgia pain. And uh, both of those drugs are really, really hard on your kidneys. So you have all these years of abuse from the naproxen, from the ibuprofen. Now you have a, a new drugs that are causing even more damage. And what happens is you start developing UTIs very easily. You get lots of urinary tract infections, you get lots of bladder infections, and then you start getting kidney infections. And these go, these are medicated by with antibiotics. And the antibiotics we choose for managing uh, urinary tract infections and kidney infections are really, really hard on your kidneys. Uh, and then as function starts to go down, there's usually a panic phase where finally the physicians or the specialist, the nephrologist says, we, we got to take a look. And so you do contrast imaging. Uh, and so you drink the stuff and they will look at your kidneys. Well, the contrast imaging is even really, really hard on your kidneys. Uh, and so we've dealt with a lot of people who this exact same situation, they end up on dialysis. So they have no more kidney function anymore. Uh, and so... All of this just because of kidney damage. Now we have a medicine that's really, really good for fibromyalgia, but it's it's um it's hard to find. It's it's not very easy to find. It's pretty rare, and uh, we we run out every year. Uh, so if I'm trying to increase uh, access to indigenous healthcare and uh, um, help the health and well-being of people in our community, I can't just overpick this this almost this medicine uh instead what i can do though is mitigate that kidney damage with uh uh we call binekubis uh a kidney medicine called bearberry or arctostaphylus uber ursi give your kidneys everything that they need to function properly uh so that these damages don't continue to build they don't accumulate over the course of your naproxen abuse <laughs> over the course of your uh anxiolytic use uh, and uh, reduce your risk of developing UTIs and, and, and kidney infections, lowering the amount of uh, damage done by uh, the anti antibiotic, uh, and then no need for the contrast imaging. And so keeping your kidneys nice and healthy is super important through these processes. I wanted to be able to open your mind and sort of give you the idea that this is a very important way to utilize medicine is to give you the ability to uh, minimize some of the side effects or, or, or uh, 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 mitigate some of the damages that can be incurred by the drug. Uh, and so medicine gives us the, the ability to utilize medicine. Uh, and the, these, uh, we really can't, can't, uh, can't stress enough how uh, toxic it is to look at these two uh, sources of health and well-being and, and healing as being opposing forces. Uh, Western medicine versus traditional medicine, we're a team. And when we work together, 
uh, the health that we are able to achieve is absolutely amazing. And so I just wanted to be able to take some time, share that with everybody today. Uh, and, um, and yeah, <laughs> super fun. I uh, really love this. So cool beans. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> bum bum peace.